G'day everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do another little uh, quick instructional how-to vid. Um, we're going to fit a, uh, a muzzle brake on the How 1500 chain chambered in 300 Winchester Magnum. The 300 Win Mag's a big kicker and uh, if you're going to use them a bit, a muzzle brake is not a bad idea. Um, they do knock you around, you might be pretty tough, but uh, you know if you're not going to use your brake, you want to be really good mates with a really suitably qualified chiropractor. So there we go. So uh, we're going to put this on the uh, on the rifle now, and this is my first real first time really getting into muzzle brake, so I'm learning as I go. It's a bit of a learning curve for me, but we'll see how we go. Um, what we need to do the job: shellite to clean uh, clean metal and threads and all that sort of thing. That's um, we could use acetone, we can use bracket parts cleaner. I shellite was the first thing that come to hand. Um, it dries dry, as I said, uh, I said in other videos. I like shellite acetone; it dries dry. Uh, it doesn't leave a, a, a sticky, sticky, oily, greasy residue behind like uh, like some uh, some cleaners do. And uh, again, the, the uh, plastic stocks you can get the uh, a little bit of shell on it won't hurt. So there we go. We need uh, a little paintbrush just to just to get a little little nooks and crannies and little fine bits we have to get into. I use a plastic jam tin lid just to uh, pour the acetone in. A bit of gun oil to spray on the metal. Bit of G96, everybody's favourite. A few little rags. And the star of the show. MDT, Elite Muzzle Brake. There he is. Little self-timing muzzle brake. We'll get into that, uh, we'll get into that a little bit uh, a little bit later. So, and we should be able to get this thing on hand tight so you can basically for a better expression, field strip this thing out, as in get it off out in the field, get it on, take take it off, put it back on, whatever, by hand. So We've, we've got a shifter, just in case, a butcher's tool, Spagnoli, just in case, but we should be able to do this by hand. So uh, we'll uh, get a better angle of, uh, of the business end of the rifle and uh, we'll go from there. Righto, we're at the, uh, at the business, end of, uh, business end of the rifle now. This rifle's got no bolt in it, no ammo, so it's the safest houses. Okay, let's have a look at the muzzle brake first. That's an MDT Elite muzzle brake. It's a three port muzzle brake, uh, 30 caliber obviously, and it's a uh, Threaded with a 5/8, uh, 5/8, 20, 5 8 by 24 thread, which uh, coincides with what the uh, the house fitted up with. Okay, so the brakes are self timing so it's got the little self timing nut at the back, which is more or less a threaded sleeve for for want of a better expression. That comes off like that, and you've got an internal thread there that threads down the uh, threads down the barrel. So we'll take that uh, factory supplied uh, thread cap off. That's just to protect the thread. Should you not wish to. Uh, should you not wish to use the um, the brake, so that basically threads on there like that, like so. But we'll, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll get that on in a minute. So we want to start. We're going to clean everything as usual. Okay, we've got our uh, we've got our acetone. Oh, sorry, our shellite. Need a little bit of that. So we, again, we're just going to clean. Basically, just cleaning the metal. Just Around the thread, around the threads, get any gunk off, off there that's, you know, it's been in the shop and come from the factory, and just get a, you know, give that a nice start with a nice clean thread. Okay, we'll do the same with the thread cap, might as well. We got him here like that. Him there. Now let's do the brake, other brake stuff. In the, in the, in the timing nut, in around there, that's good, and we'll do the whole brake as well. We'll do the whole brake, let's get him around there, around both the threads, because you've got the two threads, you've got the external thread and the internal thread. All right, and brake's had a nice clean now, so all right, we'll just uh, we'll let that dry and we'll come back. Okay, we're back. We've uh, we've cleaned everything with the shellite, we've dried everything, everything's dried by the air. We gave a little blow with the blower just to expedite the drying process, and here we are, we're going to get the brake on. So we've got our we've got our uh, Factory thread cap, thread protector cap, he's off. We don't need him for the moment. We've got our brake. Now, brake comes in two parts. It's the actual brake and the timing nut. For want of a better expression, for all intents and purposes, it is just a threaded sleeve, okay? It goes around the external thread. The internal thread on the brake threads onto the barrel, which is a 5 8 by 24 thread. And um, when we when we uh, orientate, orient this, uh, sorry, this brake, we want it that way, flat at the top, and you've got the MDT logo. You want it flat at the top with the uh, 
The ports, the three ports on either side, oriented at nine o'clock and three o'clock, pushing pretty much straight back at you. That way it pushes all the blast back. It doesn't, it doesn't put it up and down and all around, and you don't want that. So there we go. So what we do is we put the, uh, we put the uh, timing nut back on the brake, and we take him all the way up to there. Just get him off just a little bit so he doesn't tighten himself on there. Okay, and we just start screwing it gently, screw him onto the, uh, screw him onto the barrel. Don't smash him into the end of your barrel. You don't need to do that. He'll find his way. Now, if he doesn't want to go, like all threads, don't make him. So, now if we have a look at that, that I've got a level on this thing. I'll do this by eye. Um, that is skewed down to between between three o'clock and four o'clock. Okay, we want that at nine and three. Okay, so we can't go further that way because we're we're out of revolutions. So what we've got to do is go backwards. So we take it back to the next flat, which is there, and that we want him along the top of the barrel. Okay, so what we've got to do there is take him back that way a bit and tighten that up and just, and this is where you've got to muck around with it a bit. You just, you bring him back to there like that and just give him a, I tell you what, that's not going to be too bad. Now I'm going to start checking this. No, he's a bit out, he's a bit out, and this is and this is how you do it. You just it's just trial and error. Trial and error. And we're doing it all by hand. So we're not need, not using tools. No. This is all okay, this is all you've got to do. So we'll, so you, you get the general we all get the general idea of what we're doing here. It's just trial and error. Close. It's really close. I reckon that's close, you know. So we'll try and nip him up. I didn't want to go any. He doesn't want to go any further. Let me have a look close. No, he's a whisker out. He's just. He is just a whisk. He is a whisker out. This bloke. So, well, and all right, we we get the general idea. So I'll come back when I've got it done. Right, that's it, there it is, our muzzle brakes on. It probably isn't super perfect straight, but I've done that by eye, just sitting there, and it's probably as good as I'm gonna get it. If it's a, a degree out here, that, that really won't affect anything. It really won't. Um, I would recommend if you're gonna, and I know I'll do this when I, uh, I take it out, I will take a spanner with, and a big hunk of rag, because you don't wanna put the, you don't wanna put the spanner on, actually on the brake and on the port, scratch it and all that sort of business. So. Uh, just in case it binds up or whatever, you just you just want to be able to crack it, and that's it. So, so uh, there we go. That's um, done and dusted. Um, muzzle brakes, and I cannot wait to shoot this rifle. I really can't. So, uh, we'll uh, I'll, I'll go and put a scope on it, and uh, and we're done. All right. So until next time, I'll I'll see you then. Stay safe.